In the 90s, Arsenio Hall changes what late night television looks like. We were able to see people on there that we couldn't see anywhere else. How scary is that for Paramount? Arsenio also transforms what it sounds like. A lot of, lot of people would give NWA a chance to say or express any of their songs. F the police. Yeah. Where you gonna see Kid and Play? Where you gonna see Salt and Pepper? Where you gonna see MC Hammer? Where you gonna see Bobby Brown? Arsenio loved Prince. He said to Sharon Olson, the music booker, get me Prince on the show, I want Prince. She, so she tried and tried. So finally, he'll do the show. The only thing is he won't talk. Let's take it to Arsenio. He says, that's okay. We'll talk to people who've worked with Prince and they'll talk about him. Prince, if I'm lying, come out here and slap me because I, I don't remember everything. I think he said, just, well, you want to lay one down? And we went out there and I started singing and he said, gosh. And he was happy about what he was hearing, so he called George Clinton in. Yeah. George was in the other room. George. Yeah. yeah. That was a great show. Come on, baby. Again, how smart Arsenio was. Smart enough to weather efforts by his competitors to keep big name celebrities off his show and become the exclusive destination for A-listers with something difficult to talk about. Arsenio called me into his office and said, Bill, Magic Johnson's going to announce that he has HIV. What do I do? I said, you get in the car and you go to your friend, fuck the show. If you don't tape today, you don't tape today. In those days, having HIV was like a death sentence. Because of the, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. Watching him play in the NBA, especially the Lakers, especially in Los Angeles, he is a hero to everyone. humanizes him being on this show because to a lot of folks, it's something that you don't talk about. I'm here to say, hey, I got it, but I'm gonna live on. And you don't have to run from me like, oh, here come magic, uh-oh. You, know, you don't have to do all that. You know, just you to be you. Magic Johnson's appearance on Arsenio is a 90s cultural milestone and helps set the stage for possibly the most iconic moment in late night TV history. So many people in the presidential race. Who's Bill Clinton? Before this episode, Bill Clinton was probably third in the running. After this episode, he shot up completely. Him being comfortable enough to put on the sunglasses, getting one of Arsenio's ties, putting it on, and playing the sax. That was unheard of. We're coming out of the Reagan era. <laughs> He was reaching out to the MTV Generation Heavy, and I think it really made a difference. You know Bill Clinton's like, hey, yeah, Arsenio, all right. <laughs> Go to get these black voters. What do we do about the gangs, and what do we do about the violence in our inner cities, the black-on-black -black crime? long running joke was Bill Clinton was like the first black president. Everyone would always kind of make that joke around that. And it's because he was the one that talked directly to black culture in a way that you hadn't seen any other president do. Why would you vote for Clinton? It seemed like he got more going than the rest of them. There's no question that this ticket is going to get the overwhelming majority of the black vote. 